beats and my music. What's good, YouTube? It's Mark coming at y'all again with another Madden 21 video. And today I'll be showing y'all how to never struggle with solo challenges again. With most fear dropping, Thanksgiving around the corner, and Christmas right behind that, this is the time to grind solos and get your rewards as soon as you can. So I got y'all today with the best Madden offensive play, as well as the best defensive play to run to finish these solo challenges as fast as possible. And if you stay to the end of the video, I got a little bonus for y'all. Now, before we jump into it, if you do enjoy the videos and you rock with your boy, drop a comment, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. If you like what you see, I will be posting Madden tips, tricks, and gameplays, helping you throughout the Madden Ultimate Team grind. So with that being said, let's just jump straight into it. Now, like I said, the most fears came out last Friday and uh, yeah, your boy did all of them. I'm not gonna sit here and cap like I'm a game freak or nothing, but you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm gonna show y'all today how to do them as fast as I did it. I did all of them except one star. Forcing a fumble in this challenge was a pain, bro, because EA made it to where hit sticking someone is not a fumble. So I'm gonna wait to do that one again. But the graveyard just came out for the escape from the castle uh today they just dropped today so if you haven't done those i would advise just going and knocking them out uh after you watch this video of course so with that being said since i have no other solos i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna do this legends token i'm gonna put it on hard and this is actually probably the hardest solo challenge you could do because they have the 90 overall players all the way powered up so jumping straight into the game, we're gonna start out on defense first, and you wanna go to nickel, double A gap, and run the mid blitz. Man, if you haven't been running this play, I don't know what the hell you've been doing or where the hell you been, but guess what? It's okay, cause I got you and I'ma show you how to do it. So what you wanna do is you wanna press and you wanna use the safety that's on the running back and bring the other one down. I forgot to bring him down right there, but you wanna bring the other one down and as you can see, that's instant pressure. So right here, I'ma show you again, press, play over top bring the other safety down and then you want to just use it as a linebacker or the safety that's on the running back and if they come out in the eye formation like they just did then you want to just sit two to three yards behind the linebackers and blitz any gap that opens up so again press play over the top bring down the safety that's on the tight end play in the gap on the side that the running back is on with the other safety and as you can see we get instant pressure even though I got sucked into a block. So switching over to the offensive side, I always set this audible just in case we get one high safety. Uh, it's an RPO that glitches out man coverage as well as cover three. Um, anytime there's one high safety, I'm gonna audible to it. So the play you wanna run is the PA crossers. I'm running it out of Trey White Flex, but I know for a fact that it's in a bunch of other playbooks and a bunch of other sets that has three receivers on one side. So the setup is pretty simple. You just wanna streak the tight end or whoever's on the other side, drag the middleman, and you just wanna throw that deep drag. And obviously it's a one play touchdown here, but it's not always gonna be a one play touchdown. Sometimes it, it Madden's gonna hold you and you're gonna throw an inaccurate ball, but nine times out of 10, this is gonna be a gain of 20 to 30 yards, as you can see again. Same play, same result. Well, not same result, but almost the same result. 20 and 30 yards. And one more time I'm running for you guys. And again, 20 to 30 yards. That's, that's easy rack. But when you get down here, you just want to make one minor adjustment, which is slant the guy you want to throw it to. And then make the same adjustments you made before. Streak the tight end. Drag the middleman. And cancel play action. Or you could keep it. It's up to you. And then you just throw this and you just watch it open up like magic. This play right here, I came out and they were in a one high. This is the only one high I got the entire game. And so I audible to the play that glitches out man coverage or cover three. And if you watch my last video, you know the setup on that. So I'm not gonna go through it. You gotta go back and watch that video. And so basically that DB is gonna dumb out the one that's over the top of him, he's gonna dumb out. And if I didn't get that spin animation, I guarantee I would have ran around the safety and it would have been an easy one play touchdown. So if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate y'all boys for rocking with me. And I got y'all with the bonus, easiest interception method for y'all for the solo challenges that require a forced turnover or some type of interception it, the setup is real easy basically all you want to do is you want to run a cover one robber 
and you just want to kind of be kind of far away from the receiver as you can see he runs kind of a little bit outside and i wasn't able to get there it's kind of hard to simulate in uh, an actual game so i'm gonna actually go to practice mode and do it and uh the difficulty is on all madden so you want to find any cover one i usually run cover one robert press and basically what you're looking for is any type of fade route so you want to be on the widest receiver say they come out in like some type of empty you want to be on the widest receiver i'm gonna just run the slot outs here because i see what i'm looking for in those fade routes which is the little lip instead of just the straight on streak and so your alignment is pretty simple as you can see we get a pick right there your alignment is really simple you want to be 10 yards off the receiver and about three to five yards inside 10 to 12 give or take 10 to 12 yards off and about three to five you kind of play with it however you feel most comfortable as you can see they just don't oh my goodness as we get absolutely agged right there by the cpu that will probably happen sometimes but it, nine times out of ten it's an interception so again t 10 to 12 yards off three to five yards inside and once they throw it you, once they snap the ball actually don't wait till they throw it once they snap the ball you just want to kind of drift over to them and then sprint they're gonna throw it regardless because he he it registers that he's open if you're this far off it's gonna register that he's open so one more time 10 to 12 yards off and i'm gonna pick it off again and yes it's on all madden let me show y'all for for those to be in the comment section it's not on all madden it's not it's, oh you're playing on rookie no 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 i'm not thank you so we're gonna run it one more time and i'll show you just in case y'all think i'm chopping this video up i'm i'm really not so uh 10 yards off and three to five yards inside one more time he throws it just pick it off and i'm gonna go to the other side to show you guys that it's pretty much the same exact concept so basically 10 to 12 yards off three to five yards inside and on the widest receiver and they're gonna throw it and it's gonna be a pick and it's pretty much if you translate this to solo challenges and uh then you're gonna be up there with your boy you 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 gonna be up there with me finishing solo challenges about an hour i'm telling you i'm telling you it's gonna happen so once again it's mar and it's been real i'll catch you guys in the next video i'm at